A studio camera doesn't just have to be mounted on a pedestal. This one is mounted on the end of an extended arm known as a jib. The jib allows for a greater range of motion, especially when it comes to working height. The jib can act as a mini crane, helping to get an extremely high shot or an extremely low shot, and everything in between. The jib is mounted on a heavy-duty tripod, and just like a studio pedestal, it too can have its casters locked. It's a good idea to lock the wheels once you have the jib in its desired location. If setting up the jib for the first time, you'll also want to have a stand ready with a surface for you to gently rest the arm on while configuring the camera system and counterbalance needs. This particular jib consists of several four-foot modular sections that are connected with ring pins and through bolts to make one long arm. That arm is then mounted atop a heavy-duty tripod that can support the full weight of the payload, including the counterweights, arm, and mounted camera system. One of the nice features about the K-Pod from Kessler Crane is the confidence you gain when setting its height and locking that in on the legs. The jib has been leveled and locked off. At the one end is the camera platform, and at the other end is the rear control center. The leveling cable connects the two ends to ensure the camera platform remains level. A jib is designed to be operated from the rear. The rear control center features two bars that are bracketed together. This one is the control bar and is where the zoom, focus, and mount, pan, and tilt controls are installed. This one is the counterweight bar. A sudden change in counterweight could render the unit unstable and impossible to control. That's why you always want to check to make sure the knobs at the end of the weight bar are tight so that no weights fall off, causing injury to yourself, others, the equipment, and or facility you're operating within. It's also a good idea to have a variety of different sized weights on hand for fine-tuning the balance. A properly balanced jib will slow down and stop without moving up, down, left, or right if you let go of the arm. If it does not, then the unit is not properly balanced. Typically, once the arm itself is balanced, then the installation of the camera system can be added and balance adjusted once more. For this demonstration, we'll assume the load has not changed and therefore no balancing adjustment is needed given its location within an existing television studio. Today, you'll be learning how to use the system with a Blackmagic Design Studio camera, which is actually a very lightweight camera system. The camera has been mounted to the camera platform and balanced accordingly to reduce as much tension as possible so the mount motors can easily do their job of controlling the direction of the camera platform. Notice the wiring for both camera signal and control has been neatly run to prevent any tension from building up and preventing movement of the camera platform. With the jib properly configured, it's time to power it up and operate the studio camera. Bring the jib to working height, being careful not to hit any objects or person. Turn on the main power switch and camera if they are not already on thanks to the technical crew. The monitor should now show you the camera feed and the mount motor system should be energized. If it is not, flip the toggle switch to the on position towards the camera, illuminating its green power indicator light. Also check that the monitor on the side of the jib is turned on. Since this camera will be used in a studio setting, we'll assume a CCU or camera control unit is handling functions such as the white balance, iris, and shutter settings to match it with the other cameras in use throughout the studio. That leaves only its motion and framing up to you as the camera operator. Some lens control systems will allow for zoom and focus controls. These functions get controlled by your right hand. Your left hand will be used to control the mount motors. There are two mount motors, one for panning and one for tilting. Use the joystick to control the mount motors. Moving the joystick left and right in a straight line controls only the pan direction. Moving it up and down controls only the tilt direction, but moving the joystick diagonally will result in engaging both motors to perform a combination move. Sometimes you may find the motors are working but not doing their job of moving the camera platform. That's when a small adjustment may be necessary to ensure the gears are making contact and staying tight. Practice moving the jib while trying to keep an object centered up in frame. You may find it helpful to invert the direction of the motor using the pan and tilt toggle switches. It is harder than you may think, but with practice, 
you'll master the technique. One setting that may help is controlling the amount of force behind your adjustment when using the joystick. Use the speed knob to adjust how fast the motor moves based on how far the joystick is positioned away from center. Adjusting the ramp knob will change how quickly the motors react to your movement on the joystick, allowing you to finesse your desired move. The best thing you can do is play with these settings and become familiar with how they assist you in getting the desired move you intend to perform as a camera operator. To pan the entire arm of the jib, unlock the safety knob located at the top of the tripod by spinning it counterclockwise to release the tension so it can swing. If you do not need to pan the arm, spin the knob clockwise to tighten down the jib arm. Come showtime, be sure to put on your headset so you can communicate with the technical crew. When using this ClearCom intercom system, it is possible to adjust the volume of your headset by changing the dial on its side. Hold in the talk button to talk momentarily or double tap it to keep your microphone on. Press it again to turn it off. The call light will flash the rest of the crew, sending a silent signal that someone wishes to pass on a communication, but without interrupting what's currently going on. You now have been introduced to the basics behind operating a simple jib arm and camera system. Good luck when practicing in the field and stay safe and alert.